Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Any area in your life where you know the word of God is not yet working, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, open my eyes. Let me know what is wrong. What am I not getting yet? What am I not getting yet? What am I not getting yet? I am understanding scripture, but it's not yet delivering the result. My finances is still down. Um, I trust, I, I pray that it works, but it's not yet working. My home is not yet working. This is not condemnation. This is church. It's like the hospital. When you go to the hospital, you don't tell the doctor what is right with you. What is right with you is not what brought you to the hospital. You came to the hospital to remedy what is wrong. It doesn't mean everything is wrong. But when you come to the hospital, your, the doctor will ask you what is the issue. Take a minute to pray. Father, I've been at this level of grace for years. At this level of grace for months. There is no multiplication of grace in my life. That means there is tauntedness in my knowing the revelations that are connected to grace walk on me tonight someone pray if you really came to church to pray you really came to church to grow take a minute this version of believer is not bringing great glory to the name of the lord i cry for transition i cry for transition in the spirit I cannot bless the nations this way. I cannot serve his grace to the nations at this level of knowledge, at this level of anointing, at this level of prosperity, at this level of influence. Go ahead and pray. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9 says, And the glory of the latter house, the glory of this latter house, he's not just talking about a building, he's talking about you, that this glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. There is such a thing as former. There is such a thing as latter. You should not remain at your former self for a long time, indefinitely without transition. Someone take a minute and pray. You are not wasting your time. Help me. Show me mercy. This level of stuntedness in my prayer life. Show me mercy. In Jesus name I pray. I sense in my spirit to give us two more prayer points. I don't know why the Holy Spirit is moving this way. I'd like you to pray and say every consequence of ignorance in my life because of something I did not know. My life is currently in a phase right now where only God can help me. I'm praying, oh God, that you bring me out of that calamity and remedy my ignorance by light. Go ahead and pray. Something I did not know put me in financial trouble. Something I did not know put me in spiritual trouble. Something I did not know gave demons and spirits an edge over my life even though born again. Something I did not know. Maybe you did not understand the power of relationships and it's brought you a lot of stuntedness and stagnation. Maybe you've not been taught the power of prayer where you came from and you did not engage and it gave Satan an advantage over your life. i like you to pray that by mercy God will bring you out of every Every trouble that ignorance has put you in someone pray every trouble every calamity that ignorance of yesteryears ignorance of yesterday ignorance of yester months have placed me in in the name of Jesus Christ by mercy I come out of it by mercy I come out of it by mercy I come out of it Elaparatos 
the glory of this latter house this latter house this latter house called joshua selman this latter house called koinonia shall be greater 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 in jesus name we pray final prayer point and then you will sit down look at me every level in the spirit demands a certain weight of glory and a certain kind and measure of the anointing are we together now that you are anointed does not mean you are anointed enough for the mountains that stand before you today yesterday's grace may not be able to bring down today's mountain that is the reason why we grow in grace you're going to cry that the anointing will fall afresh upon you celebrating yesterday's results without growing will only leave you in disappointment father you are doing something new across the globe you are changing people's stories you are people are molding to mightier versions of themselves i cry unto you show me mercy let fire from heaven let a fresh anointing rest upon me rest upon me rest upon me rest upon me that as your spirit is moving from nation to nation moving from place to place from believer to believer empowering men afresh granting men capacity to produce extraordinary results do not leave me behind oh god i cry for greater power let me host heavier dimensions of your glory Salina Marantos Cabriga Beleke Paratos Yate Crativa Zinemelta Parasco Parantos Shabres Sali Paratos Capretti Capelanda Crust Ibratos Savredina Capranti Capelega Paratos Cabriga de Bele de Bosch hallelujah 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 let me give us one more prayer request the holy spirit is just placing on my mind a message that i preached while we're having one of our conferences in uk revelation chapter 4 1 and 2. it said after this i looked I preach a message on it come up here part one you can get it and listen to it but i just want to bring out something there very profound statement he said after this i looked and i shared in that teaching how that as simple as this statement is it says after this you have to examine what the this is are we together now he's saying after this you have to understand what happened from chapter one to chapter four there were already mighty strikes in the spirit. I hope you know that before he was even caught up in that vision, it was because the elemental forces had no effect on him. He was already a powerful man. They tried to boil him. Bible history would tell us, but the man would not boil in oil. And he was banished to the Isle of Patmos. And that was where he had a vision. So the guy was not some lukewarm, careless, callous Christian. He was already a spiritual man with proof. Then the Bible says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And then he began to see the description of the seven lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstand, the Bible says, he saw one like the son of man. He began to describe Jesus. Then Jesus gave him a mandate to write the letters to the seven churches that were then in Asia Minor, but prophetically representing the universal church, bringing several messages that represent several dispensations. And after that, the Bible now tells us, after this, I looked. This right here you see shows you the power of focus and the humility to press. There are some these that if it happens in your life, you will not have the focus to look again. After the achievement, after the miracles, after the advancement, after the great name, he said, I still looked. Focus. Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching forth for the things that are before me i press i press you are going to pray 
Because sometimes what limits us from experiencing the greater glory is not something wrong. It's something God did before in your life. You camp around something he did, a miracle he wrought through you, a level of grace he granted you, and you will not know that he has lifted the bar higher than the dimension that you were and you will not press for more but John said regardless what I had seen regardless my achievements in the spirit after this I looked it takes humility to look after this it takes passion for God to look after this you're going to pray and say father regardless how you lift me grant me the focus to continue with you that everything that sustains the power to distract me let it die tonight is someone praying for some of us the day you prospered you stopped looking stop looking to Jesus stop looking to the spirit the day you prospered for someone the day you got a job the day you got married the day you got the child you've been waiting for the day you were promoted the day you were you experienced increase after this and in spite of this i still looked like you will be looking tonight to that perfect law of liberty regardless the achievements i come hungry i come thirsty i come desperate someone is praying more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life more hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I'm teaching tonight on the spiritual man the spiritual man the spiritual man I want to show you by the spirit a roadmap to grace and glory the spiritual man the someone you have severe pain around your rib area the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus, the Son of I curse that spirit now. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Spirit of God, the Lord is showing me someone else. I'm seeing severe pain around your lumbar area, very excruciating pain. I take authority over that pain now. I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let that weight of glory rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone you have severe pain around your left eye. Your left eye. Very burning sensation around your left eye. It's affecting your seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Spirit rest upon that eye and bring you life, bring you healing right now. Bring you life, bring you healing right now. Bring you life, bring you healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ life and healing right now someone you have noise you, you have very severe pain noise around your left ear very discomforting noise you hear but discomforting noise the power of God is touching you right now and the Lord is bringing you healing bringing you healing supernatural healing someone is being healed of your kneecap your kneecap you're having excruciating pain around your kneecap in the name of Jesus, I cause that kneecap problem, whoever that person is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I cause that kneecap. Let, let me just, just allow us to exhaust this healing river. Whatever God is doing tonight, let him just flow and bring life to people. Someone you have a very severe pain around your heart area. When you wake up in the morning, very severe pain. Sometimes you have to just grab your chest because there's severe pain. I'm praying for you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, let the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you and bring you healing right now. 
bring you healing right now. The Lord is showing me a vision of someone. I'm, I'm sure this is a spiritual issue, but it's like there is a blindfold. I'm seeing somebody like a ban was put over your eyes and you are completely covered. And in the name of Jesus, whoever that is, I don't care whether it's a demonic thing that has covered you so that you don't see the path for the next level, so that you don't see what else God is doing. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Everyone whose eyes has been blinded by demonic occurrences that you are not able to see and perceive and discern, I tear off that veil right now from your eyes. I tear off that veil right now from your eyes. I tear off that veil now from your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who I'm speaking to. You are a gentleman. The Lord is saying I should tell you it's time for the retreat. There is, there is a time that God wants you to spend with him. There is a level of glory that you will receive in that place of retreat. And the Lord is saying I should tell you it's time for that retreat. It's time for that retreat. I pray for you whoever you are. May that grace to stay until you carry substance in the spirit. Let it rest upon you now. 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 The Lord is asking me to avert the spirit of death from a family. I don't know which family that is, but in the name of Jesus, every programming of death over you or your loved ones. If you are standing, you are standing for your loved ones. I'm praying for you every conspiracy of darkness to have a member of your family go down the grave whoever digs that pit they will fall into it in the name of jesus whoever digs that pit they will fall into it by the spirit of grace and in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus back pain the lord is healing someone of back pain you are not able to bend you feel excruciating pain around your back. I stretch my hands now and in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be healed now. You're feeling pain around your throat area. You have a problem swallowing. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are, I pray for you. Let the hand of God rest upon you now. Bring you life and bring you healing. Bring you life and bring you healing. There is a family of ladies, the Lord is showing me now. There is an embargo upon them, they don't rise. It's like a curse upon the family. Before we sit down, a family of ladies, only ladies, I'm praying for you, whoever you are, provided you are on this ground. I don't care how long this course has been. In the name of Jesus Christ, I represent the power of the Most High. Be released from that curse now. Be released from that embargo now. I say to you again, be released from that curse now. Be released from that embargo now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's someone here you have. It's, I don't know what the medical condition is, but you are always needing blood. Like what happens to maybe a, a, a sickler or something. Always needing blood. It's like your, your blood level is never enough. It keeps depleting. This is a demonic thing. I don't know where you are. I'm feeling fire on my hands and as, as I'm saying this. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever it is that is depleting your blood, because the life of the flesh is in the blood, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything trying to deplete your blood, deplete your life, I take authority over it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For someone God is speaking to you concerning that job. What he has said will still come to pass. I'm saying it to you by the Spirit of God. What he has said will still come to pass. What he has said will still come to pass. It doesn't matter what you see now. It looks like God's word concerning your job doesn't seem to be coming to pass. But I'm prophesying to you at this service tonight that what God has said will still come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands in one minute and receive every prophetic word. And then we'll get to the word of God quickly. Lift your hands. Receive every word that he's brought. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please be seated.